Well, an encounter with a man who murdered his daughter triggered a flood of emotions in Muhammad Ali Noor Americo. Uh, the former Somali ambassador to Kenya, his impulse was to kill him on the spot. Instead, he hugged the killer and embarked on a mission he calls the peace journey. On a recent visit to VOA, Ambassador Ali Noor America told me how it all happened. Actually, uh, September 14, 2014, uh, I, I remember like, like now, uh, that day, um, I went to Mogadishu uh, for vacation. And I was having um, coffee, cappuccino actually, uh, in, a, in a small um, restaurant at the beach in Mogadishu, Little Beach. And I was having with some friends of mine, um, while we were sitting, a young gentleman came on our table um, and he stand in front of me uh, and he said, are you Ambassador Mohammed Ali Americo? And you know, being in Mogadishu, uh, of course, of security, you know, you just cannot answer to anyone. Yeah. Um, and I stated first and then I said, you know, yes, it's me. And then in a, in a really, you know, a, a lower voice, he said, uh, can I please uh, talk to you uh, alone? And I said, okay, come have a seat here. And I asked my friends to, to sit on another table. And he started telling me uh, that he was deported from Saudi Arabia. He said that he went to Saudi Arabia in 1992 looking for a job. He said that uh, since then, uh, he never got a decent job, that he's been uh, arrested, you know, all this time. But now he came back. And after talking to his family, they told him that Ambassador Mohammed al Amerik is in town. You better talk to him. And what is it that he needed to talk to you about? When he said that, that he wanted to talk to me and, and talk about jobs, I thought that he was going to ask me yeah. for a job. And I said, what can I do for you? And then uh, I can see his eyes became red. Um, and, and he said that he was part of uh, some malicious, you know, uh, who armed malicious who attacked our house, my father's house in 1992. When he said that, you know, I become emotional and, and, and I remember what he's talking about, which was uh, at the time, the day that my daughter, uh, Yasmin Muhammad Ali, who was 18 months, was killed in our house. I mean, this young man was one, um, uh, was among the people who attacked your house yes. and killed your daughter. And, and he, I was standing right in front of you. He's just uh, he's sitting in front of me and he kept going and, and I can see that he, his eyes were becoming more red. Mm -hmm. Uh, and tears were coming to his eyes, and he said that uh, he wanted to talk to me. He said that he wants to ask for forgiveness. And while he was saying that, he sat down, knelt in front of me, and holding my knees, saying that, please, can you forgive me? And while he was saying that, my mind went back to 1992, that day. A very sad day for me and my family. It, it, it's really, I, I also become emotional talking about this now. Mm. Um, I remember holding my baby, Yasmin, um, with blood on her, you know, uh, and, and, and the day, in the afternoon, also burying her, um, taking her to a cemetery. Uh, all these things came to my mind. And you're looking and I, at this guy. This <laughs> is the person who did it, or at least one of those who did it. Yes, and he's yeah. admitting to me, and, 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 and I start crying. You know, uh, and, and I told him, get up, you know, and I was holding his shoulders and many things came to my mind. Should I go outside, grab a gun from one of the security guys? Should I take him to the police station? Should I take him to the ocean and, and drown him, you know, kill him? You know, all these yeah. bad things came to my mind. But I have to thank God that, uh, again, I, I, I was calm and, and, and I told him, I forgive you. Wow. Just like that. And, and I can remember the, 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 the people, the customers in the restaurant, everybody looking at us, you know. Uh, uh, and, then, and then he hugged me. And we hugged each other. And, and really we, we cried. Um, and, and then we sat down. And I told him that I forgive you. My family forgive you. But you have to ask forgiveness for God. You pray, ask for forgiveness. After I did that, the good thing was that people really uh, uh, welcomed that. Uh, of course, I, I, my wife and my kids also said that I did the right thing. Mm -hmm. um, I talked to the media. I remember talking to VOA and other media. Talk about what I did.